the academic rigor get brought up when, when they're recruiting you to say it's going to be tough? They definitely mention it. Uh, they tell you that expectations are high and that you will be held to a higher standard here. And uh, they definitely put that, like, push that across to the recruits. So I guess you do know what you're getting into if you come here. Was that a selling point for you? Uh, definitely. My mom was sitting in the meetings, and uh, they kind of got her heart as soon as they said academics were high. Do other schools use that, try to use that against Notre Dame? Uh, I honestly can't remember. Okay. It was so long ago. Gotcha. And just uh, lastly, just football. Um, what's it like dealing with Greg Bryant as a running back? How's his style different from maybe the other backs they've had here? Uh, just I think the other day uh, we were in goal line, and Greg just put his foot in the ground and just got vertical so fast and so explosive. And then the fact that he kind of was driving the the, uh, the defense and just kind of chugging his feet, he's definitely a different running back. He can show power, show speed. He's definitely a, a great back. Why did you grow up in Michigan fan? Was it the wing helmets? I mean, what? what? Uh, kid, why was that it was just my brother growing up Saturday mornings. My mom uh, played some old school music with Clean Up, and then it was time to watch Michigan football. So that was kind of what the routine was. You don't know like how that, nah. how Michigan fit into the <laughs> nah, music not, a, not at all. <laughs> okay. Speaking of recruiting and the selling point, what about these uniforms? Are these, do you think these are going to help when you can recruit? Uh, I hope so. The new uniforms are pretty cool, uh, especially the way they uh like kind of incorporated everything into it, so uh, I hope it does help. And that's the type of thing that, in your experience, that's definitely something that could come up in a, in a, you know, maybe not as appealing to your mom as the academic stuff, but maybe to the player. That's something. That yeah, especially you get to change up a uniform every, uh, once a year, especially, and then you got to see uh, what new changes can be made or how people feel about certain things, and uh, just the, the the Shamrock series in general kind of get to play another way, but it's considered a home game. And uh, it's dev it definitely gets recruits. Sheldon, adjusting to a, a new uh, defensive coordinator, new defensive system this year, how, how smooth has that transition been? Uh, for me personally, it's been a great transition. And for the other D-linemen, I feel like it's been good as well because uh, the way Coach Justin has grinded us and showed us what we need to do to get better and just certain things like that, I feel like it's been a great transition. Coach said younger, but this group is playing faster. Have you, have you noticed that in practice? Oh, yeah, especially uh, compared to the first spring, back, spring ball practice until now, Everything's just coming more fluid to us. He's throwing things at us that we didn't expect to get, but we're getting it. So we're playing fast, and it's just kind of exciting. Jalen Smith, uh, what changes have you seen in, in his game just since the end of last season? Uh, just his knowledge of the game as a whole. He's learning what the D-line does, what the people behind him are doing, just kind of growing as a player entirely. Have you seen him take on a, a greater role even as vocally as a leader with this defense? Oh, yeah, especially uh, I heard him yelling in 707 the other day talking about we got to step it up defense, and that kind of surprised me because he is a young guy. He's not afraid to say say what he needs to and uh, open his mouth. What are the main differences in your own role from last year to this year, Just not just in where you're lining up, but everything else? Uh, I just feel like uh, last year I was kind of the, the guy just to hold the front together. And now this year I'm more of the guy that's at the head of the pack. Like uh, last year it was Lewis and Stefan, and uh, every time a play needs to be made, they were looking at them, and now they're kind of looking at me. So uh, I feel like that's the only role that's changed, and uh, me being a vocal leader as well. Do you feel like you're in an ideal location as a three technique there in that defense? Oh, yeah, for sure. Did you lose some weight too? Uh, yeah, I, I dropped five pounds and kind of leaned up a little bit because uh, – the explosiveness and the more quickness I needed to play this position.